All right, let's learn how to quickly and easily set up uh, ACT or Final Fantasy XIV, mostly using the Actor program to automatically download and configure ACT with minimal finagling. First of all, go to all three of the GitHub pages that are linked below. You're going to go every page. You're going to go to releases, and you're going to scroll down to the latest release. You're going to find whatever you're looking for .zip right here at the top. You can do that in all three of them. After you've done that, go ahead and open them in your downloads folder, folder or wherever you would saved to. Next, you're going to go in and right-click Properties, Unblock, Apply, all three of them. And now to make sure that we're working on a complete blank slate, what you're going to want to do is go to your local drive, find your users folder, your user profile, app data, rope, advanced combat tracker. This folder here has all of your config files for ACT stored in it. I would suggest before you do this to make a backup copy of it. I already have one, so I'm not going to. But go ahead and delete that to make sure you're completely starting from scratch. Okay, do that. Once you're done with that, you're going to determine where do we want to install ACT. For this example, I'm just going to install it on straight on my C drive. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to your downloads folder and find actor console.zip. And then what you want to do is extract it to wherever you want to download it or wherever you want to install it. Okay, we're on the console. It's going to bring up a window. It's going to ask you a couple of questions. Just follow along. This is going to install ACT to your C drive. Would you like to change the location? For this case, no. This is where I want it. It's going to uh, tell you to download and install some prerequisites for ACT. I would suggest doing this. I already have them, so I'm not going to do for this. Alright, that's going to go through and start downloading everything. And it's going to ask me, do you want to install the Hoja Ring plugin? This is a... It has nice little things, more advanced user stuff. But it has stuff like special spell timers. I personally would suggest getting it and experimenting with that a little later. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to hit no. Would you like the overlay plugin? Yes, yes you would. It's going to download that. DF Assist plugin uh, is super important. This is uh, mostly for get, knowing what duty you're going to get in Duty Finder before it pops. Uh, this is a trigger expansion. Pretty nice, but not needed, so I'm going to hit no. Do you want to run ACT? No, we still have more to do. Okay, go close the window. Now you see here, it's going to have added an ACT folder to my C drive. It's going to go in here. It's going to have everything here. It's going to have the plugins we download in the plugin folder. For simplicity's sake, I would recommend renaming overlay plugin folder, but just remove the space in it. So it's all one word. Next, we're going to do is we're going to install the Enmity overlay. And uh, how we're going to install this is going to open up the zip, go into your overlay plugin folder. And then just drag all this, drop it in there, overwrite, yes. Okay, go close that, done with that. Back up again. Next, we're going to do it with the CACBOT zip. Same thing, go in here. Drag and drop all this into your plugin folder. Overwrite everything. All right, now we can start up ACT. Go in here and decide which plugins you want to add and enable. Clicking to 
browse and then uh, going to the plugin folder that was installed. So we want the overlay plugin, so we will go to overlayplugin.tl. Enable that. This little thing's going to show up here. It comes pre configured with an overlay right here. Now, once we go into this overlay plugin tab here, we're going to add a couple new ones. Hit new, select Enmity, name it whatever you want. And then under this URL here, it's going to, it has a, it has a pre a pre designated one. You can go in here, overlay plugin, resources, Enmity plugin. And there's a couple skins right here. Personally, I suggest uh, Absolute Show Only Monster. Okay, that's all set. Do another new one. Go to Cack Butt, name whatever you want. Under URL, same deal. Go to ACT, Plugins, Overlay Plugin, Cack Butt, UI. Raid boss, and then select raidboss.html. This is gonna pop up. You can move this around, make it as big as you want, have it do whatever you want. After you're done, enable click through, block overlay, click reload. Now, if we go into Final Fantasy 14, we're gonna see we have our DPS overlay and our enmity overlay right here. See, I have 7,534 enmity on this. And I'm doing 2k DPS to it. Right. Now, next things next, we're going to teleport to Middle Linosia to test if CACBOT's working. The test functionality for CACBOT is the training dummies here near the Aetherite. So, what we're going to do is we're going to walk over to one, and then we're going to slash bow to it. This pops this up to timeline for what's going to happen. All my guest is going out. Telling us, you know, strike or excuse me, stack. Long cast bar. Oh no, a tank buster. Blah blah blah. It's just going to go through its list and do its thing. After you have all the stuff set up, you know, feel free to put it where you actually want it. We're going to Kaguru here. Your overlay. Come in here. Fiddle around with these settings to get exactly how you want it to look like, resize it, or whatever you want to do. And then after you're done, come back in, and then set click through, lock, click through lock. So now you can't, you can click through them, and they will never be in the way. Like you can't click them by X and remove them around. And you're done.